The few images are tantalizing if inconclusive. That's the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. And that's dissident Saudi journalist Jamal Khashoggi going into it last Tuesday. He's not been seen since. The presumption? Saudi agents were waiting inside where Turkish authorities believe he was captured, killed, and perhaps dismembered. The Saudis deny all of it. It's a terrible thing. Today, Donald Trump joined the growing international call for answers from Saudi Arabia. It's a very sad situation. It's a very bad situation. And we want to get to the bottom of it. Khashoggi was a fierce critic of Saudi policies, so much so that he fled Saudi Arabia last year to live in exile in the U.S. Today, Turkish news reports showed images they say are of a Saudi assassination squad who flew to Turkey and then left on the same day Khashoggi disappeared. One of the agents reportedly brought along a bone saw. Police are looking for this van, seen driving away from the consulate, even as Khashoggi's fiance stood by out on the street, waiting. The targeting and kidnapping. Back in Washington, demonstrators stood outside the Saudi embassy, demanding an explanation for all of it. On Capitol Hill, U.S. lawmakers likewise expressed outrage. It is not acceptable for any sovereign state to behave in this fashion. It's the law of the jungle, and we will not accept it. If the Saudis did grab Khashoggi, he himself may have been unsurprised. In an interview this past spring, he told CBC News that soon after he fled Saudi Arabia last year, authorities went after his friends, rounding them up, arresting them. And uh, uh, I, I always regret being away from home, but when... Uh, uh, I see what happened to them. I, I, I think I did the right choice, uh, even though it is very hurtful to be away from home. In that CBC interview, Khashoggi said it's crucial that independent voices be heard in Saudi Arabia, just as his voice is being heard now, whatever his fate. Adrian. So, Paul, we know Canadian officials haven't said much that, you know, that they're concerned, they're waiting for more information, and maybe the limited comments are because this country doesn't have much leverage. But what about other countries like Britain, other entities? Well, there are certainly calls for the Saudis to explain what went down in that consulate. The U.N. wants a, quote, prompt, independent and international investigation. The British Foreign Secretary has called for urgent answers and says friendship depends on shared values. For its part, the Turkish government's response seems to be leaking to the press all that grisly speculation with an intent to put heat on the Saudis. Bottom line, pressure's on for Saudi Arabia to say or do something on this and soon. Okay, thanks, Paul. The CBC's Paul Hunter in Washington tonight.